Hello all, welcome to part 7 of the Security Tube GNU Debugger Expert course and certification. In this video, we will look at something called convenience variables and how to call different functions from within GDB. So if you've been following uh, all the videos till now, you already know that to get the PDF slides and the code sample for this video, all you need to do is go down to the description of the video and click on PDF and code file downloads here. This opens up a new window. You can either support us by taking the course for $1.50 in which you get the course videos, uh, the mock exam, the certification exam and the certificate if you pass the exam or you can tweet the video by clicking on tweet and download clicking on the tweet button remember to tweet only from this interface after you're done if you're already not following security tube follow us leave your Twitter ID and your email and we will send the PDF slides and the code snippets to your email address fantastic let's come back so what are convenience variables well as you can imagine you're going to be spending a long time in GDB when you debug complex situations and hence many a time you really want to go ahead and hold data somewhere which you can probably look at reference or for that matter even use somehow in your entire debugging process now the way GDB allows you to do this is by offering you an option called convenience variables. Convenience variables can be easily created by using the set command. So let's actually go right down to the code. Uh, this is the program which we use in video seven. Basically takes three inputs and prints the first argument which you passed as is and then prints the sum of the next two arguments which is these two okay let's load this up in GDB now if you want to create a convenience argument let's say I can actually do it very simply by mentioning I is equals 10 and there you are you can print this back and you get it now this is not limited just to probably doing basic stuff you can do very interesting stuff here let me show you how let me quickly set a breakpoint for main let's run this program with three a's 10 and 20 the program hits the breakpoint and as we already know print v one tells us that the command line input we are using is three a's now what if you want to change this and instead make it all three B's. In a previous video, I've showed you how to modify memory, right? But now let's do it with convenience variables in a much more simpler and easier way. So I could just do a set and then basically go ahead and say dollar demo and I can say, hey, BBB, four B's for that matter. There you go. If I would print dollar demo, have four B's. Now the best part really is that you can go ahead and assign this to RV1. And now if you have a look at RV1, right, you see that it's actually pointing to four B's. The best part is now when you continue program execution, the program uses this new uh, value of RP1 and actually prints all four Bs on the screen. So one of the interesting things which we did really is by creating another string and going ahead and actually changing the pointer value of RP1 to point to our new string. And all of this happened at runtime. So, uh, Convenience variables actually can do a bunch of other things. So to give you an example, here is one. Let's say you want to dynamically allocate a large amount of memory, right? 
you can say hey set dollar din and the best part is you can actually call your malloc and all of that right here typically the idea is you can use all of those functions and library calls which are linked in the program so let's say we allocate 10 bytes oops let's actually run the process because or else it wouldn't make any sense all of this happens while you are actually inside a running process really let's go back here right and if you do a quick print dollar din see of course there's nothing because by default uh, you know what we have done is malloc has made all of them zero but you can inspect those 10 values very simply by using the examine command and there we go here it is fantastic now the interesting thing is that you can actually now apply other function calls on this variable itself so as an example uh, let's say you want to string copy demo into din right here is how you would do it you can just basically say call and then you can say string copy which of course is insecure to the power infinity and then you say hey din dollar demo right or let's say you want to copy one of the data structures you could basically just go ahead and do this and the return value basically is what you're getting but now if you go back and you know have a look at this you see that you have 341s of course right now it is nothing but the three a's which we invoke the program with right here right awesome so it alternately print them out as characters where you can clearly see the A's right fantastic and now you can actually go ahead and set rv1 to dollar din just as we've done previously if you want to which is right so you can do all of this fantastic things uh, using convenience variables now one of the other things you're probably also noticing is that we can call functions uh, both in the libraries which we are using as well as in our code call using the call function this is fantastic so let's look at the functions available to us so you have add numbers which basically takes two inputs so if I wanted to call add numbers I would say call add numbers and give it the two numbers as input right and if you notice the outcome is $1.30 the best part is that you could use convenience variables to do the same thing. Set dollar i is hundred. Set dollar j equals two hundred, and then you can actually do the call add numbers and basically give the convenience variables as input. Right? And if you notice, the outcome is three hundred. Awesome. Uh, you could basically do this for any function which is in scope uh, you could call you know let's say what other functions are available to us just so that so you have echo input right all it does is you pass it a string and it's going to go ahead and just print that so echo input so call echo input oops let me clear the screen All right hello there you go it prints hello alternately you can also give it specific variables from the program or for that matter even convenience variables as we've already seen before right awesome so short yet very important and powerful concept convenience variables uh, you can copy out things from memory locations into them you can play around with them 
uh, and what you notice is that you can even call and invoke functions which are there uh, in the binary as well as whatever may be linked to it. Let's go back to our slides. So this is exactly what I wanted to talk about uh, in this video and calling functions as we've already seen. So if you want the PDF slides or the code as I've already discussed, please either tweet the video or register for the SDDE. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.